Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna show you how to set a pressure compensated pump and relief valve in a hydraulic system, and helping us out is Ron Ellis. He's with Motion Industries, representing Eaton Vickers. Ron, thanks so much for being here today. Great. Glad to be here. Um, I know we got a pump, I know we got a relief valve here, but uh, tell me, what are we gonna see? How does this all work together, and uh, what's going on? Here we have a pressure compensated pump, and it's a little smarter than the average pump in that it knows when you want flow and when you don't want flow. And here we have a pressure relief valve. Now, why is it so important that these two guys work together? What's the purpose of our demonstration okay. today? Well, the pump has a built-in pressure control device and the relief valve is a pressure control device. And we have to make sure that we set them in the right relationship to each other. Okay, and I know the words energy and savings are evolving right around this, right? This is what's so important about it. Right. right. Okay, now the, the safety valve that we have there, why is this feature so important as a safety feature? Okay. The relief valve limits the maximum pressure in the system and protects it. If we have too much pressure, we could wind up blowing lines or even causing a component to rupture, which is not a safe thing, particularly for the workers around. Yeah, that's not good. That's something we don't want. Now, what we have in front of this is uh, pretty similar to what we're gonna see in the video that we're gonna show in just a second, is that correct? That's correct. In the video, we've got a hydraulic power unit that's been built in our shop here. Mm -hmm. It has a pressure compensate pump and a pressure relief valve. Okay, I know we got different knobs and everything on this stuff, so what's this knob right here for? Okay, this is our pressure adjustment knob. So in the video, you'll see him making an adjustment here. So if we, if we screw it in, we'll be increasing the pressure. Okay. If we back it out, we'll be decreasing the pressure. And of course, the same would be true for the Relief valve. Now. Same way. Turn it in more pressure. Absolutely. Open it up more relief of pressure. Yes. Okay. So why don't you walk us through the video? What we're going to see here today that was done in your shop. In the video, we have a hydraulic power unit that was built in our shop here that uses a pressure compensated pump and a relief valve, and we're going to go through the proper steps in setting these things in the right relationship. And also, these don't come preset from the factory. We have to set them based on whatever the specs are for that particular unit. All right, well, let's take us through what's our first step for all this. First step before we start the unit up is we're gonna take the pressure compensator, we're gonna screw it all the way in to where the pump will deliver its maximum flow, but we're also gonna take the pressure relief valve, we're gonna screw it all the way out to develop the minimum amount of pressure. Okay, and again, the relief valve right there, that's to protect against, uh, you know, w what could be a very dangerous situation with building up of high pressure. You're absolutely right. Okay, what do we got next? Okay, next step is to start the power unit up. When we start the power unit up, again, we'll be delivering flow at low pressure initially. We're going to take the relief valve, we're going to adjust it we're up by screwing the knob in, and we're going to set the relief valve to a pressure 20% higher than the pressure we need to do the job. Okay. Now, are, are we saving energy yet, though? No, not yet. We're still operating maximum flow. Maximum flow here. Right. Okay. So what's our next step? The next step is, to, is our pump. We're going to go to the pressure compensator, and we're going to set it for 10% higher than the pressure we need to do our job. Ah. Uh... Uh, okay, so now how do we determine the amount of pressure that it takes to do the job working in conjunction with the relief valve? The pressure in the system is, is a function of the application. How much pressure does it take to push a load with a cylinder? Or how much torque does it take to turn a load with a motor? So is oil passing over at this stage? No, no. Right now we have the relief valve set higher and the compensator set lower. So everything is in the right re relationship to each other. Okay. Well, how do we finish everything up now to where they're all working together? The last thing we do is just finally just, just complete the setting by locking down the adjustment nuts on the pump. That's what we have here for. Up. We've got these guys here Absolutely. to lock them up. But we, we don't do that. do that until they're both working with the maximum energy savings. That's correct. And that's what we're looking for. Exactly. All right, Ron, thank you very much. Appreciate you. your help. All right, if you have any questions about this, need for more information, uh, don't forget to contact the Motion Industries branch location that's nearest you. Hopefully this will help your practical application. And don't forget, Always wear the proper PPE, uh, you know, know whatever you're doing, whether it's the pump and the valve or uh, whatever's in your shop or factory, make sure you wear the proper PPE. It's always important. And don't forget to look for more Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.